I'm Brianna. And I'm Akira. And you're watching Dante's, Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You breaking my heart, Gary. You are breaking my heart. Damn. This don't make no damn sense, guys. It don't make no sense. Let me go ahead and put all this in chronological order to get you guys caught up. So Gary Russell Jr., he's been calling out everyone. He made his announcement a couple months ago that he's fighting at 135. He called everyone out. But those of you guys who don't know this, he actually called out Devin Haney a while ago. Not a while, I'll say maybe about three or four weeks ago. He called out Devin Haney. More recently, he had called out Terrence Crawford. He said he was willing to fight Terrence Crawford for $1.5 million, the money that uh, was reported Terrence Crawford offered Kell Brook, right? So Devin Haney, out of nowhere, he sends an offer to Gary Russell. And Devin Haney didn't do this through social media. He sent it directly to Gary Russell. Offered him $1.5 million. Gary comes back and says, I want $2 million, right? And I believe after a little bit of backlash from Gary Russell demanding the $2 million, I, or maybe it wasn't that. Maybe Gary just thought about it and said, you know what? I'll take the $1.5. So then Gary, he, he backtracked. He said, I'll take the $1.5. Then they started negotiating. Then all of a sudden, Gary Russell, he said, nah, you know what? I don't want any stipulations. They're putting stipulations in the contract where I'll have to fight on the zone if I beat Devin Haney. So then they removed that stipulation from the contract, right? All of Gary Russell's terms. And Gary Russell still refuses to sign the contract. Now Gary Russell is saying that the contract, it doesn't have Eddie Hearn or Matchroom or the zone's name on the contract so he's not signing it now guys this is what doesn't make sense to me okay first of all it's been cleared up that it was a term that was sent over to gary russell not the actual contract right but the terms clearly shows everything that gary russell asked for it shows everything that he asked for so what doesn't make sense to me is gary is saying well no um you guys need to talk to uh, Matchroom and DAZN and get them to put their name on the contract. What doesn't make sense to me is what does Gary Russell have to lose if he has a form in front of him that has all of his demands on it? What does he have to lose if he signs it? Even it, it would make more sense for Gary Russell to sign the paper and then say to everybody, I didn't already sign my portion of the contract now it's up to Matchroom and DAZN to put their name on the contract. That's what Gary should have did. He should have signed the contract and then start putting pressure on them to hurry up and get everyone's name on a contract. I'm hearing this talks of, you know, it was a blank, it was a blank contract, et cetera, et cetera. How is it blank when the contract and the term, it actually has everything that you asked for on it? A blank contract would be if they sent you something where the, the money part is blank, right? If the money part is blank, that would make more sense. Because in that case, anyone would say, no, I'm not signing this. What, I'm going to sign this so I can send it back to you and you guys can put on a contract, I'm only getting paid 200000 right? You're going to fill in that part later? But it wasn't just the money that was on this pre-contract. All of Gary Russell's demands was on this pre-contract. The stipulation being withheld. The fact that Gary Russell doesn't have to fight on his own if he beats Devin Haney, that was on this paper. So it's not making sense on Gary Russell's part. And you know, I waited. I gave Gary Russell some time before I made a video like this. Because I was saying to myself, okay, Gary, don't let us down. We're waiting. We're wait. We're patiently waiting for you. 
When I say we, at least the people with common sense. I'm talking about new media. Because see, over here with new media, we don't just automatically just start saying somebody ducking after the second day a contract is not signed. That's not how it works. We have to have the facts. We have to, it has to logically make sense. See, what I do is I wait for a consistent pattern. And we're seeing a consistent pattern of Gary Russell coming up with his own demands, with his own stipulations. The only person that's throwing roadblocks in this contract right now is Gary Russell. And I'm a big fan of Gary Russell, but I gotta speak the truth. There is absolutely no way you can blame this situation on the Haney team. There's no way you can blame this on Devin Haney or Bill Haney. Devin Haney has gone out of his way to try to get uh, Gary Russell to sign this contract. He's gone out of his way. In fact, if you look at that video that I put up of Gary Russell going live where he was explaining why he hasn't signed the contract yet, he said, man, on some real shit, I gotta give Devin Haney a lot of credit because this man is only, what, 20, 21 years old and he really wants to fight me? He said, I give him a lot of credit for being the only person that's willing to fight him. So even Gary Russell is admitting that Devin Haney, he really wants to smoke. So why would there be anyone in the comment section or anyone in general that would sound so ridiculous to try to blame this fight possibly not happening or the contracts not being signed yet on Devin Haney when Devin has went out of his way to make the fight? Bill had already revealed that his son came to him and asked him, he said, Dad, can I fight? Can I get that fight? Can I get the Gary Russell fight? And Bill said, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's work on it. And every single time Gary Russell got what he asked for, he still stalled. He stalled from day one and he's stalling today. I'm telling you right now, Gary, this is going to be a really, really bad look if you let this fight slip away from you. The fact that Gary Russell has called out everyone from 135 to Terrence Crawford at 147. And then soon as one person at 135 says, I want the smoke. And he's actually coming at you harder than you're coming at him. And you're the one that's like, okay, wait, I want this. Okay, here you go. Now I want this. Okay, here you go. I want this. Here you go. And then all of a sudden, Devin Haney and Team Haney, they're sitting around waiting for you to sign a contract and you're like, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm still not signing this contract. This is a bad look, Gary. This is a bad look. And I wanna reiterate, anyone that is stupid enough to sit in the comment section and say, oh, you know, this is really Devin Haney's fault. Do you know how idiotic you guys sound? I had one guy on, on um, in the comment section on one of the videos I uploaded, and he said, Devin Haney is looking desperate right now. Devin Haney is looking so desperate right now. And then right after he calls Devin Haney desperate, he says, Devin don't want the fight. How do you go from calling Devin Haney desperate to then following that up by saying he doesn't want the fight at all? Listen, man, I'm telling you guys right now in the comment section, you guys are coming off as extremely inconsistent. Your message is all over the place. When Devin Haney first sent out the contract, there were fans that were automatically saying, oh, Devin is ducking. Devin didn't send no contract. Once again, he didn't go on the internet. He didn't, you know, get on his Instagram to just try to make noise and just say, hey, I'll fight you, Gary. No. Devin, he moved in silence. He sent the contract directly to Gary Russell, right? He asked his dad if he can get that fight and then sent an offer to Gary Russell. It's only common sense. I shouldn't even have to explain this to you guys. That's not the way a person who's ducking moves. A person who's ducking, he does all of the opposite things. So I'm telling y'all, man, 
you cats in the comment section on YouTube, y'all gotta stop with these clicks. This all unorganized and everybody is going every different direction. It's a bad look. When you sitting over here bashing people that's actually doing what they're supposed to do, like Devin Haney, like I just told you guys, Gary Russell himself, he even admitted that, Gary, that Devin Haney really, really wants this fight. He even commended Devin Haney for really wanting the smoke. So if Gary Russell himself is admitting that Devin ain't trying to duck, he ain't trying to cap, why is it some people in the comment section are so backwards? This is not making any sense. And clearly this is not a diss to Gary Russell. I really want Gary Russell to take this fight because I've been waiting for Gary Russell to get another big opportunity like this. The time is now. Gary Russell is finally getting what he's been asking for. And man, this is gonna be bad for Gary Russell's career if he allows this opportunity to pass him by. I mean, when I read some of these comments, it seems like the comments are gang related, where they don't even care whose fault it is. They're just riding with the clique that they're with. They're just riding with the guy that they feel is associated with their gang. And that's not how new media moves, guys. Over here, it's about the whole truth. Gary Russell is my boy, but there is no defending what Gary Russell is doing right now. There is no defending what Gary Russell is doing right now. When Gary was offered the 1.5 million and he said, no, I want 2 million. I gave him the benefit of the doubt because that was the first strike, right? Now, when Gary Russell, once he agreed to the 1.5 and then he said, well, well, wait a minute. Now, I don't want any stipulations. I don't want any attachments where I'll have to fight on the zone a couple of times. If I beat Devin Haney, I started to raise my eyebrows, but I still didn't say anything. But now, once they remove that stipulation and Gary Russell is still not signing a contract, come on, man. There's no defending this anymore. I waited very patiently before I spoke on this. But there's no way you can defend Gary Russell's actions. There is no way. And there's certainly no way you can blame this on Devin Haney when he's going out of his way to try to make this fight. This is gonna be a terrible look for Gary Russell if he doesn't end up signing this contract to fight Devin Haney. I hope Gary does the right thing. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. You know, I always say on this channel, pay-per-view fights should actually be free. And now the day has come where I'm about to hook you up with an app where you can watch all your pay-per-view events, boxing, UFC, etc., for free. I wanna introduce Block TV, the best internet streaming television app out there. They provide over 3,600 channels, including HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. They have a massive video on demand library with over 40,000 of the new release movies and the latest TV series. And it also includes DVR. So you're getting all of this for $34.99 a month. And once again, that includes free pay-per-view. So this one right here is a no-brainer, guys, because back in Las Vegas, I was paying damn near 200 bucks a month for my cable. Those days are long gone now. So to get the app, make sure you guys go over to getblocktv.com and put in my promo code and get 30% off your first month. You also get a free month for every friend you refer. The promo code is DBNation. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a haircut shape up or an edge up. What they do is they tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you have lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you already were probably doing anyway. So if you wanna get this hook up for my brothers out there in the UK and Europe, make sure you check out the Scalp This on Instagram. And for my brothers out there in the States, make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before. But all I can tell you guys is this is a serious game changer for us men. 
So make sure you get in contact with Scalp This and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram.